we have seen, uh, you know, many of the projects built between China and Pakistan have been realized over the years. Uh, how do you see the locals have come to understand the nature of this cooperation? It's all about uh, connectivity. It's all about cooperation. It's all about consultation. It's not about conflict or containment or confrontation or a cold war, which some want. And we are the hub of regional connectivity, Pakistan, because of the China-Pakistan economic corridor. Central Asia, South Asia, Gulf, Iran, Afghanistan and China together. So that's a new world opening up. Ports, pipelines, roads, railways, energy, economy, education. You name it, all these are there on the agenda. That's the future. And that's a big picture. So we are on the right side of history. Moving towards a better tomorrow for Asia without overlords and without any underdogs. You see, I've been chairman of the Parliamentary Committee on CPEC, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. So I've been visiting projects. I took a delegation of parliamentarians to a project which is called uh, at Karot, which is 720 megawatts. Mm -hmm. And it's again a success story. They're benefiting the people. So 200,000 Pakistanis got jobs. 40,000 Pakistani students studying in China. Uh, over 6,500 megawatts of electricity generated. Mm -hmm. 1,000 kilometers of roads and highways built. These are apparent and $29 billion of investment. So the early harvest projects have more or less been completed on schedule. Yeah. So the best of CPEC is yet to come. Now we're talking of agriculture, education, IT, special economic zones, relocation of Chinese industry. So a lot is going to happen. Pakistan is a very young country in terms of demography because 66% of Pakistanis are under the age of 35. And it's also, we have a large middle class, over 100 million people. So they need to have the opportunity to demonstrate their talent. And that opportunity is providing by CPEC. Because China has already at par or excelled with the United States in high tech anyway.